And we are back. This is The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 1. It's finally fucking here. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's been a while. It's been almost a month and a half. My last full reaction was to The Walking Dead finale. Ow. But overall, my last reaction was the tra one of the trailers for this early December, so it's been almost a month and a half. The reason I haven't re reacted to much after that is because, it will holidays, you know, most shows aren't on on the holidays. That and most of my shows were cancelled by the CW, so... But, it's, I'm, it's very fitting, I'm glad this is my first reaction of the year. I'm excited, but also scared. Also, just a little, for I want to give a little forewarning, if you have not played the games, there will probably be... <clears throat> spoilers in all of my reactions because you know it's gonna be really hard not to say oh I can't wait for this oh I'm not ready for this so just a forewarning if you haven't played the games there's probably gonna be I'll try my best not to do too many and if I have to I'll try to be as vague as possible but yeah I'm genuinely not like, even knowing pretty much everything that happens I'm still not ready especially the opening stuff I it's like I know what's coming I don't want to watch that again I got into the first game almost three years ago one of the best decisions I ever made and then I got and I got part two when it first came out unpopular it's probably an unpopular opinion but I love part two I know it's controversial but but I love part one too they're both iconic. I'm not fucking ready. I, the moment a clicker comes on my screen, those things are terrifying. I think it's the opening scene that I'm really not ready for. Can I leave? <laughs> I don't want to watch that again. It's like I know what's coming and I feel like I'm still gonna get emotional. <clears throat> oh yeah. I, should I do it? Okay, I'm gonna give my little forewarning like I have to do with most shows. If you don't like emotional reactions, you might want to turn back now. I don't. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this because even when I when I do this, I still get comments like, "Why are you crying? Or why are you getting emotional? It's just a fictional show." Sorry. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's no secret. I get emotional with fictional TV shows and fictional characters. Not gonna apologize for it. So I'm just gonna put that out there. If you don't like emotional reactions, you should probably turn back now. If I, sound, if I sound a little blunt, I'm sorry, I don't mean to, it's just... I've done this so many times, I feel like I shouldn't have to at this point. But part of me feels like I need to, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is The Last of Us series premiere. I'm ready to have my feelings destroyed and my heart crushed. Again. But in the end, we always. Win. Oh my Which, god! Uh, just to be clear, it's Radcliffe from Agents of Shield. Or in the most dire terms. Who will be back? <laughs> this dude skipped out of his mind. He's gonna shit his pants. Oh, oh that's cool. The fucking music. I'm not gonna cry. That is literally the coolest thing ever. And the award for coolest title sequence of the year goes to The Last of Us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Truly. Oh my god, it's Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Ow. Joel, Pedro. Lovely. No, this is just making me sad. I'm gonna have to watch. In the water bag. Can I leave? Hey. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Oh my God, Gabriel Luna, I love you, Robbie Reyes. Oh my God, this is this is perfect. You picked yourself up on the road. Concrete guy's gonna be there. This is perfect. I'm so glad they got Gabriel and Tommy. We're not getting paid. Dog sense everything. Wait, don't kill the dog. I'm a dog person. 
fix it for you. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. 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 Did you? Nope. I'm what? done. Oh, yeah, 15, <laughs> 16 minutes and I'm done. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. This That's is just gonna make it even more painful. Fuck this. Oh, the dog! <laughs> if I have to watch this dog die... Protect the dog. Oh, he's so scared! No, I'm gonna cry. I don't like seeing dogs, like, scared or get hurt. Please don't make me watch this dog die. Please? No, really, no. No, oh, okay, okay. Mm -mm. Run, 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 fucking run. Coming and I'm still not ready. I still wasn't ready for it. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. I know, I know, I know, I know, baby. I know, I know. I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay. All right, baby, baby, baby. Listen to me. I gotta get you up. Okay? I gotta get you up. All right? Come on. Come on. I didn't I think this would hurt as much no, in the no, show. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Like I Come on, you. baby girl. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on, baby girl. The fucking <laughs> acting. That was so fucking rude. I didn't think it would hurt as much in the show, but it did. And here we are, 20 years later. Oh, That's sad. Sorry. Tess Queen! Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I was not ready. Oh, lovely. It's Ellie. I just know Bella is gonna kill it as Ellie. I'm so excited. What an icon. <laughs> Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, G, three, four. Slowly and clearly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, fuck you. Oh, she's perfect. She's perfect. Uh, hold out your... <laughs> fucking love Say your name, slowly. Ow. Marlene. The team in place is Southeastern? Well, hello, hello, hello Marlene. Back. And I love I have some questions. that they got the original voice actress back. Okay. That's amazing. Her knife. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. Mm-hmm. You my fucking mom or something? I look like your mom? No, you're not. My name is Marlene. 
And the leader of the Fireflies in the Boston QZ. Yep. Why well, these terrorists don't really fed around? Because it's where you'd be safest, and you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Oh, ow. So rude. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot. This one's yeah. done. <sighs> yeah. I know. I just I wasn't expecting it. Thinking he wasn't down here last time? I would be shaking. No. Fucking terrified. Joel? Marlene? You okay? Yeah. Ellie. I'm so fucking ready. Ellie. So now I'm thinking you're gonna do it. There's I'm no not going with that. Let yes, me take you. Are. Don't oh, you don't have time? Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle she's people. Important. Sorry. I can do it. God, I love my fucking music. One thing with The Last of Us is they always fucking kill it with the music. You kept saying like, like wake me up before you go go. Shit. Gotcha. Ladies <laughs> means trouble. Code broken. God, they're both so fucking good. This is perfect casting. Oh my god, the hiding from Fetra soldiers. It feels like I'm playing the game all over again, but not playing. Oh god. Don't move! Holy shit, literally they got me from the first like freaking five ten minutes. I didn't think this would make me as emotional and hyped up as the games did, but they got me, especially with Sarah's death. It's like I knew it was coming, but I still wasn't ready for it. Oh my god, that was so fucking sad. The Pedro's acting, especially in that scene with Sarah, that was so, honestly, Pedro and Bella, perfect casting as Joel and Ellie. Like, I'm just so fucking impressed. They're, they're both so fucking good. And I love that the opening sequence is like a fucking half hour long. It made, it kind of made Sarah's death hurt even more. I'm like, it, it made me, it made me so badly want her to live, even though I knew she wasn't going to. I'm kind of glad we didn't see any clickers this episode because out of all the infected, honestly, clickers kind of terrify me the most. Like, the clicking is just creepy. But we're going to see some. And Marlene, I love that we got Merle Dandridge back from the games as Marlene. I'm not prepared for the remainder of the season to destroy me. I 
I'm really not. And the music. Oh my god, the fucking title sequence. That shit was beautiful. And the music. They never failed to deliver on the music. So yeah, the entire half hour opening sequence was iconic and sad. Oh my god, Ratcliffe from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was in the first like five minutes. And like, I, I was like, I could have heard their voice before. I thought they were like, oh my god, it's Ratcliffe. <laughs> Plot twists were just in the framework. If you if you've seen Agents of Shield, you'll know what I'm talking about. Plot twists, there's no apocalypse. We're just in the framework. Not that that's any better, because that was like straight out of hell and traumatizing, heartbreaking. Anyway, moving on. I did not want this episode to end. Like it was long, like almost like about an hour and a half. I don't know how many episodes of the season are gonna be long. Like I know this was like 80 something minutes. Episode 3, which is Bill's episode, is also 80 something minutes. The rest from what I've heard I think are, are much shorter. I don't know. Like 50 minutes to an hour. Typical for HBO. I don't know. I could see episode 7, Left Behind, and the finale being long episodes. Hmm. We'll see though. I've only seen titles for like the first like four episodes, or no, I think it was three. And, like I think the next one's called Infected. I think so this one's called When You're Lost in the Darkness. Look for the light. So yeah, if I had to describe this in a word, perfect. Like the casting, the acting. Oh my god. The horror on this show is gonna be a whole nother fucking level. Like at some points, it, even though I'm not, we're not actually playing the games all over again, it made me feel like the familiarity and nostalgia made me actually feel like, especially when they were hiding from the Fedra soldiers, it made me feel like I was playing the game all over again. Also, I haven't played the first game. I played the second game a lot. I played the first game a few times, but I haven't played it in ever since like ever since I got it. So if I forget if I forget some things, I'm sorry. But I still remember most of everything, so there's just so much I'm not prepared for, like Left Behind, the finale, the fucking winter section. I don't even get where they started on the way. I don't even know when it's gonna be. Cause there's nine episodes. Do I think there, I think there was supposed to be ten? I think the first episode is like the first two originally combined or something. So I think it's still kinda of ten in a way, but it's nine, if that makes sense. I don't know when the winter section is gonna be. I wanna say like maybe it was at six? Because episode seven is left behind. Because we have that, and then we also have Tommy, and then the finale. We have a lot. But yeah, just seeing all the characters again. Joel, Ellie, Tess, Marlene. It hit me right in the heartstrings. And based on all the early reviews that I've seen, one thing I like about this show is that I don't really have to worry about spoilers because I pretty much, if you see, people that play the games pretty much already know. Like obviously there's going to be stuff like that wasn't in the games that are going to incorporate into it. Like the first half hour we got stuff that we didn't see in the game. So apart from that, I don't really have to worry about spoilers. But anyway, from what I've heard, episode 3 is the best of the season so far. It's Bill's episode. I'm so excited. <sighs> As excited as I am, I'm nervous because I know the rest of the season is going to destroy me. Like this episode. Sarah's death. I didn't think it would have hurt as much in this show, but it did. And with all the scenes we got of Sarah before her death, it made me so badly want her to live, but I knew she wasn't going to. And the acting when she died from Pedro, I'm like, just rip my heart out, why don't you? That was so fucking good. Pedro and Bella as Joel and Ellie. 
perfect casting, honestly. From her first, from Bella's first scene as Ellie, I'm like, perfect. Just perfect. And I just remembered there's an episode coming out on my birthday. Episode 5, I believe. It comes out on February 12th. That's my birthday. I love that. It's such a good birthday present. Last of us on my birthday. I can't wait. I hope it's a, I hope it's a long episode. I deserve a long episode as much as possible for my birthday. That's so fitting. I'm so excited. So yeah, like I said, in a word, perfect. That was The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 1. Just a little reminder again, if you haven't played the games, if I spoil anything, I'm so sorry. It's really hard not to, because like when you see something that you already know, it's like, oh, look at that. It's like, it's, it's so hard. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be as vague as possible. So if I end up slipping, I'm sorry. That's why I'm giving a little pre-warning because I'm probably gonna end up spoiling some stuff. Like, I so badly wanted to say with Ellie, like, that when they were questioning why she's so special, I'm like, it's like, I already know why, but. <laughs> so yeah, when it comes to spoilers, part of me feels like most of the people watching are people that have played the game, so I feel like I can be a little bit more with spoilers. But for those who haven't played, I'll try to be as vague as possible. But if I slip up, I'm sorry. It's gonna be really hard not to. But anyway, that is it for now. That is The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 1. Perfect. Perfect. I'm telling you right now, it's show of the year. Show of the year. And be sure to let me know your thoughts on this premiere. If you haven't played the games and you're new to this, let me know what you thought. Also, go play the games. Trust me, the games are iconic. <laughs> Anyway, that is it for now, and I will see you guys next time.